Hello guys, what's up? I'm so excited, ChatGPT just released a new feature and it's called Custom Instruction. It's funny because uh, a few weeks ago, I made a post on LinkedIn and I leaked that information and I knew it would come. And here it is. Basically, it's here since less than 24 hours. And um, you can see it here. What does it do? It's quite simple. So the problem with ChatGPT is that you have token limits. Okay, a lot of people are not aware of it, but at some point, if you keep talking with ChatGPT inside the same chat, uh, ChatGPT will forget the beginning. Uh, it's called the token limit. So um, it's roughly 8,000 tokens um, for ChatGPT4. It's 6,000 words. It's a lot, but at the same time, it's not. And the problem is a lot of you, a lot of us, uh, oftentimes we want to go for the same kind of solution. Let's say I'm a third grade teacher and I am teaching uh, um, uh, science, uh, physics. Um, I don't want to say to ChatGPT all the time that I am this if at some point uh, the number of tokens is too much. So um, they... Uh, this is how they tackle that problem. It's with custom instruction. Basically, it's prompt, so it's orders, requests that you give to ChatGPT that are outside of the token limit. And it makes our job much, much better, much faster. First, I'm gonna uh, show you how to do it, how to uh, get access to it. You have to have uh, ChatGPT Plus, obviously. You go on your profile here, on the bottom left and you go on settings and when you go on settings you have beta features and you have this one custom instruction I would advise you to turn on everything uh, by the way plugins code interpreter but this one custom instruction is gonna be big uh, I can guarantee you and once it's done you go here you click again here and you have now custom instruction when you click on it I put my face down on the left when you click on it you can finally give those custom instruction. The custom instruction is twofold. You have, um, so I'm gonna read it out loud. What would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? When I gave my ChatGPT class, that's exactly what I was doing. I was always telling my students, a uh, prompt is basic, basically three things. The, the, the context that ChatGPT needs to know, so usually about you, about your client, about what you're trying to do. And then the second part, what would you like ChatGPT to respond? It's the persona, who ChatGPT must be and what it should do, the mission. So persona, context, mission. It's the threefold. And now you can put all of this before and then start prompting and start having the discussion. You can even see here the, the maximum, uh, I think it's characters, yes. The maximum characters, so it's 150. Uh, uh, 1500 and 1500 uh, down the line and let me show you an example right here so um, I wanted to do uh, I wanted to be a landing page copywriter for SaaS I don't know if you know what a SaaS is it's a, uh, a software as a service and I wanted to write copyright landing pages so I am known for my uh, best copy to convince my target audience to subscribe to my SaaS clients on their website, I master every psychological tricks and landing page best practices for SaaS. And then I copy paste uh, the best practices for a SaaS landing page. Um, and after that, how do I want ChatGPT to respond? I want first to start by reading all the golden rules that I said, and then you'll read the context from my SaaS client. And finally, you will write the landing page copies with the proper formatting, formatting Maybe I made a mistake on, on, on formatting. Uh, for me to design it later on, to make sure, and, and, and the final uh, sentence, let's make sure you follow this in a step-by-step -step way. It's very important. So you save it, and here you can see, I'm gonna do a new chat with you, but first I wanted to show you like the first chat I had. Um, I said, okay, now that you have this context, so it already has the custom instruction. You can see it here when you click on it you have the custom instruction before I'm actually prompting. I'm at, I'm at the very top of my prompt here. And I just say, okay, let's brainstorm some ideas for my SaaS, uh, AI prompt library SaaS, okay? Um, and I said, I want you to brainstorm all of this and to give me some bullet points 
of each of them. So it's going to give me some ideas and concepts, some business names, some domain name, uh, which is quite nice because you can click on it and see if someone used it. And for example, this one, yes. Um, you cannot ask ChatGPT to know if the domain is not taken or not. You have to do the job. Um, but then you have the business model, the target audience, how it's designed, and the pricing strategy. This is pretty straightforward. This is the typical stuff you would get from ChatGPT. But the best part is this part. Okay, start writing the landing page after selecting, and I selected the ideas that I wanted on top. And now I don't even have to say, how do I want that to be written? It knows how to do it. It knows that there is a hero section, CTA, product features, social proof, repeated CTA, pricing, FAQ. And this is from my custom. Um, look, it's from here. A hero, a section, a section, a repeated call to action, and FAQ. So I don't even have to tell him how to do that job. ChatGPT knows how to do that job. And I can keep asking on uh, for it, and it will keep doing it the same way. And now, What's good is that I can go much deeper. So I had this first draft here, which was pretty good. But now I can ask for making it bigger. I want it to be more actionable and it did exactly that. And what's interesting is that it's never gonna forget about what I did. But I could go even, um, even deeper than that um, because I could say, say in 1000 words or less everything i need to know about our websites just had this idea you can you can do that um i will say i don't want welcome stay informative only and this is how you can combine it because i had the idea of the of the um, of the SaaS, but now I can just ask for something very, very simple about everything I need to know about that SaaS. Um, by the way, GPT-4 feels faster now. I don't know what they did, but it feels faster. Um, so, okay, it seems pretty long. I'm probably gonna ask for shorter. Uh, and you'll see why I'm doing this. I have an idea behind my head uh, I want to put this into the custom instruction. Make it much shorter. All right. And now what do we do? We wait for ChatGPT to do the thing. We click on here, custom instruction. I need to move my face a bit. I need to move my face a bit again. Um, and custom instruction. And what we can do is we copy this and I can say the founder of Quantify and now copy paste. All right. Then you will write the best landing page for it. Um, I could go deeper than that, but you see, I just had the idea be before, now I can save it. I need to do a new chat to activate it. So I go here and now I can say, let's create uh, a landing page for my SaaS. Uh, start only with the structure, with three, potential structures before writing the whole copy, the whole landing page. So now it knows everything about Promptify. You can see it here, if I can click on it. Sometimes it's buggy a bit. So it knows everything about my SaaS now because I just did it before. And um, I'm just gonna brainstorm some structures and select the best one. And now I can go much deeper without fearing ChatGPT to forget what I just did. So now you have three structure, 
empathy, expertise, experience, promise, proof, action, or problem, solution, benefit. Let's go with structure two. Start writing the LinkedIn page. And here it is. I have another version and now I can just keep on going with the promptify and uh, and go deeper if I want to. Um, I can ask for a FAQ, I can ask for anything or as long as I want it to because it will remember what's promptify, the SAS that we just built. What kind of impl uh, implication it has for you Imagine you're a copywriter or you're, you have a client that is a CEO of a certain company. You don't want to say that all the time. So now you can put everything in the custom instruction and ChatGPT will remember it. Um, and that's, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty massive upgrade. All right. I'll catch you soon on LinkedIn and on Twitter. And uh, before that, uh, leave a like and a comment. I will answer every one of them. Talk to you soon, all right? Bye-bye.